who came in from doing other things and is here. Salute, amen. amen. But I just wanted to pray with my eyes open with all of you right now, if you don't mind. Um, as I pray for peace and pray especially for each of you who've taken time out to join here with us tonight. Let's pray. Gracious God, I thank you for the opportunity to stand here with your beloved, your sons and your daughters who are here seeking your face and seeking peace for this community. God, we are standing in the gap for those who want peace, but they just don't know even how to begin. For those who don't want peace and they don't know how to begin doing anything different. God, we just pray and we uh, ask that you would bless each and every one who has come out this evening, each and every one who is within the sound of my voice, that you would put a hedge of protection around not only all of us, but around this entire community because we know that you not only love us, you love South Shore, you love this city, you love this state and this country and this world. God, we ask that peace would begin on earth and let it begin with each of us right here. God, as my eyes land on each person around this circle, those who are passing by, those who you have kept from hurt, harm, and danger, who you protected, who you blessed, uh, because you have seen fit to guide us around danger seen and especially the ones unseen. Yes. We just give you thanks and praise tonight. Yes. Oh God, for each of these young people who have spoken from their heart, yes. uh, each of those who they represent, the other young people in this community, maybe even the ones who are doing work at ABJ, but who are not here tonight. God, I am praying for each of these young people as they re represent so many others who just want to live. They want to grow up yes. and they want to thrive. They don't just want to survive, they want to flourish in the life that you have been so gracious to give them. Yes. So God, continue to plant seeds of hope yes. in their tender young hearts. Yes. Continue to pour down your dreams yes. that they would embed in each of their minds so that their imagination can't even contain all the blessings that you have in store for them. God, and for each of the elders who are here, all of those who who are young at heart, and that's about it. <laughs> God, we bless, pray Amen. for each of them that they will continue to live in a way that would inspire others to follow them into life abundance. God, help us to be suitable role models for those who you put in our midst. From the tiny peanut here, yeah. The littlest one, yes. all, the, all the way up the, through the ages. God, I just thank you and I praise you for the opportunity to stand here in the gap for your people. And I'm praying for each one of these ones getting off the bus, those yeah. yes. who remain on the bus, yes. the bus drivers, the officers who are driving around, for those who are struggling now because while we were here praying, somebody was in trouble. There was a fire up the street, God, and so we know that somebody is distressed, somebody is in trauma right now, yes. somebody is grieving perhaps if there were any injuries. So we pray for all of the first responders to that situation. We pray for those who are struggling now, maybe some who are even homeless tonight. Those who are um, newly homeless and struggling, and those for whom hunger and homelessness and strife and trial is a chronic way of life. God, we are praying for all of them. God, because due to the fact that there are those issues, we have so many other issues in our community. So Lord, bless each situation as you know there is a desperate need. And when we think, see things change, when we feel peace in our spirit, when really there's no rational reason to feel peaceful, we will be careful to give you the honor and the glory and the praise as we continue to on this, end, hopefully it won't be endless, but as we continue 
on the journey towards sustained peace in our community. Lord, we pray it all in the name of our Lord. Amen. 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 Um, so, I can't be your friend today and then you end up in trouble and then I turn my back. Sergeant Jointer is here tonight. And we want to give her an applause for being hey, here. Yes! Because this sister right here, I can't tell you that I've met a, an officer that is more down for our community than yeah. officer, than Sergeant joins her. Yeah. She has truly, truly shown herself to be a friend. And I'm not two-faced and have never been two-faced. Yeah. And so we stand together. We stand together. Sure, there are some issues. Sure, there are some problems. But like Minister Ishmael so eloquently said, how we how are we going to continue to point a finger when a police officer or anybody else come along and shoot us down, but then we go on mute when we shoot one another down? How are we going to continue to do those things? We have to work from within. We have to work within our own community to build peace for ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We have to hold ourselves accountable. And sure, anyone else that would do injustice to us, we have to hold them accountable. But we also have to hold ourselves accountable. We cannot be in a, a, afford to be a community that want to look at what everybody else is doing to us. Hey, everybody else is hurting us, yes. but then we don't want to look at what we're doing to ourselves. That's not right. Hey, yes. So we're here tonight to speak, as Vanessa so lovely said from the scripture, we're speaking life. We're speaking help. We're speaking strength. We're releasing into the atmosphere. We are releasing peace into the atmosphere, and we will not give up on peace. Peace did not stop. We did. Peace did not stop. We did. So we're here to restart peace. We're here to start living and loving on one another. No more rest in peace. How about live in peace? No more R-I-P, rather L-I-P. Live in peace. Now, I don't know if Sarge wants to say anything, but I'm going to turn the mic over to Brother Richard Muhammad, and then if we'll see if she wants to say anything, and we're going to do our call to peace, and we're going to close it out. But this is not the last time, if God says the same, this is not the last time that we will grace this corner. We will continue to stand with Reverend Reed and all of our community partners. We will bring the change that we desire to our own community. That's right. Amen. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. So, some time ago, I was a poet. All right. Oh. <laughs> and since it's been a while, I'm not going to try to be a poet tonight. I'm going to read a poem. Okay. <laughs> this is by Nikki Giovanni, one of the great black poets. Yes, yes. And this poem goes out to South Shore and to all of you. Yes, yes. The title is called And I Have You. Rain has dropped, sun has shined, moon has beams that make you mine. Rivers have banks, sands have shores, hearts have heartbeats that make me yours. Needles have eyes, though pens may prick. Elmer has glue to make things stick. Winter has spring, stockings feet, Pepper has meant to make it sweet. Teachers have lessons, soup the jaw. Lawyers sue bad folks. Doctors cure. All in all, this much is true. You have me, and I have you. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Young people, I just want to tell you this. The way y'all met me is the way I'm always going to be. I told you that I was vested in this community. I could have walked, but I was tired. I've been cleaning, so forgive my attire. I live at 7353 South Clyde. Now here I am saying this on the corner of Jeffrey. Yeah, you, you are on the corner. I will not. The day that I begin to fear my people is the day I need to hang up my guns. Y'all got a taste of Sergeant Joyner the other night. It just don't change. It's just like that. 
So if you loving on me, I'ma always be loving on you. But if you want some fake, mm, move around to the fruits of Islam. Oh my God, Asalaamu Alaikum. I thank you all for being out here. And I don't know who had the idea to invite you, but that's probably something I should have adopted a long time ago. Because yes, it just ain't enough of us. You know, I appreciate you young people I bow down. I've always known how great you can be. And I just didn't want to let this day pass without support. I see you in peace circle. I just want you to know I got you. This woman, as I told you, it ain't nothing she can't ask me to do. And if you was a, a true extension of her, then I got you too. All right. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Sergeant. Thank you, Reverend Reed. Thank you, Brother Richard. We honor the people that's out here, and we will never look at numbers. People count numbers, but God made.